Good morning, and welcome to your daily Farm and Home Show, brought to you by the University of Kentucky Cooperative Extension Service. And now, here's your host. Good morning, and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles, and this morning, Henderson County is in the house. We have yeah. with us Camille Lambert. She's the Henderson Hi. County Extension Agent for Agriculture. Good yes, morning, good Camille. Morning. And then her intern is with us as well, Kelly <laughs> McIndoo. She is interning with Henderson, with Camille, yes. this summer. And you guys are the number one soybean county. We are. We've got so, a lot of soybeans. A lot of soybeans. 60-ish thousand acres. Yeah, so I'm sure you do a lot of work. We do. In soybeans. And so tell us about a project that you guys have kind of going on. Yeah, so this summer, I had my very first summer intern. <laughs> Luckily, Miss Kelly McIndoo, she is from a farm in Henderson County. She's going to be a junior at Murray this yeah. coming year. Um, what's your major? Ag business. Ag business. Yes. So I've kind of gotten her a little bit out of her element and thrown her into agronomy <laughs> because that's a lot of what I do in the summertime. You know, you get calls something's wrong you know you know just as well as I do we get those calls um, but being able to go out and help the farmer decide what's wrong is there anything wrong does everything look good um, is a really good thing to be able to have at the extension it's you know it's one of our resources that we have available so Kelly this summer we've um, given her a little bit of a project and do you want to tell us a little bit about what you've been sure. doing so this summer uh, when you intern with the University of Kentucky Extension um, we are in charge of a project or I guess our supervisor comes up with our project um, and so I collected agronomic data by planting date with soybeans so Camille and I have been really busy out in the fields we go we have about what 22 fields yeah. that we've been visiting um, every week so we stay really busy with that it's been pretty hot um, so we're just kind of looking at the disease pressure the insect pressure weed pressure um, every time we go we take the growth stage and at the beginning and the end we are going to take a stand count and then at the very end we'll take a final node count so yes. that's just a little bit of what we've been staying busy with so why is it important to know the growth stage so I've got a couple different plants that we've brought to show off to you guys because it is yes. so important to know the growth stage so can you tell us a little bit about that so you know knowing the growth stage is really beneficial you know when knowing when to spray certain things and you can see that we've brought um, some soybean samples in here today yes. um, and also knowing your yield um, potential yeah. Yeah. is beneficial as well so the earlier you plant I think it's May 9th May is, 9th is what UK recommends the cutoff yes mm -hmm. so, so every day past May 9th you can take half a percent off your yield isn't that insane Yes. And sometimes in Kentucky, Mother we Nature doesn't yeah. always cooperate. Especially so. this year. So we went out and got these plants this morning, and <laughs> we don't even have a trifoliate yet. <laughs> so um, some very late planted beans yes. this year. Okay, so Camille, for those who are watching who do not know what a trifoliate is, sure. explain that a little bit, okay? Okay, so these plants, I just, I just got them, and they've already wilted. So <laughs> we will see um, if you can tell, but a trifoliate is it comes off the petiole comes off of the main stems so this is the petiole and then you have one two three leaves so a trifoliate okay so when you're counting growth stages the first trifoliate would be v1 mm -hmm. second trifoliate v2 so on so on so on so with this plant here and it's a little crisp but <laughs> um so it looks like we had one trifoliate here that one's a little crispy mm -hmm. two three four and then you want to make sure it's all the way open to be able to count Before it so that's five it. yeah mm -hmm. so that one's open five v5 so whereas this one didn't have any mm -hmm. so this one would be vc vc mm -hmm. <laughs> um so once um it starts to flower it goes into the vegetative or the reproductive so we go from vegetative to reproductive mm -hmm. yes. so when you start to see the flowers that would be r1 so reproductive one and this is the most sensitive time in a soybean plant's life so it switches over so instead of focusing all of its efforts in vegetative and putting on growth it's now focusing on putting on pods mm -hmm. so um, when it starts to flower so this would be actually r1 um, see the little bitty flowers here but then we move into a bigger plant and I don't know if you all can see this or not, but when you're counting for R2, you want to see a flower in the top two nodes. And there so they are. So, node right there. one, 
two. So it's two down. Flowers right. right there. Excellent. So all you wanted to know about soybean growth stages <laughs> this morning. Thank you, yes. Camille and Kelly, for visiting with us. If you have questions about anything we talked about today, make sure to contact your local Extension office. Thanks for watching and have a great day. If you have questions about today's topic, please call the Warren County Extension Office at the number on your screen. Thanks for watching and have a great day.